Hey guys, welcome back to another very short review video, but today we're going to be looking at set number 30388 with 85 pieces, and this is the Polybag Imperial Shuttle. It's rated for ages 6 plus, but before we get started, I just want to remind you all to subscribe because it looks like a pretty large percentage of you aren't subscribed yet, and it really goes a long way to help out the channel. But anyways, let's get right into this review. So starting off with the box art, or I guess you could say the bag art, we have the Imperial Shuttle highlighted in the middle, and I also really like how the top wing actually goes a little bit over next to the Darth Vader. It looks like it's kind of popping out. So there's also the Death Star 2 behind it, and there are some TIE Fighters following it. And it is kind of worth noting that those TIE Fighters aren't from the newest design. Those are actually from an older design, which I guess makes sense just because it's more they're more like scaled. I guess like the wings on the newer one of the new TIE Fighter are pretty small compared to what it should be in universe. Also, it's flying over Endor. I really like this box art, or bag art, I keep on mixing that up, but, you know, it always has to be good for them to sell the sets, and in this case, I think they definitely deliver. So here's the shuttle itself in all its glory, so as you can see, it is in a landed position, which has the wings up, and they do are on a hinge piece, which means they can fold in and out, which is really cool. Uh, I do want to note that they aren't at the exact right angle when in the landed position. It's almost like they're a little bit too like parallel to the center wing but if you push them any farther they end up crashing against it so that's something i guess to note but not really a big deal especially for a poly bag so i was just giving this another thought and i think the reason why this is happening is because the base of the wings are actually too close to the body but as i said earlier you can't take this stuff too seriously just because lego is working in such a miniature scale and lego has its limitations being that you only have a certain amount of different types of pieces so moving on, here's the shuttle in its flying position, and it looks pretty nice. To be honest, it looks a lot better than the landing position, in my opinion. I could definitely see this being used in some, like, miniature Endor mocks, to be honest, like a miniature landing platform. I could definitely see this being included there. So here's a view of the center fin when it's in the flying position, and as you can see, they did stay true to the true in-universe design with those three light bluish-gray markings. You know, a nice addition. Also on the back, we have the light trans blue thrusters cool as well and on the front the cockpit is a little bit awkward but i think it's probably the best they could do and i'm not too disappointed with it but overall if i were you i would pick this one up i also have three of them actually and i will probably be doing a giveaway at some point maybe when i hit like 100 subscribers or something like that so with that in mind, make sure to subscribe. If I don't end up giving this set away, I'll most likely give something away. Maybe like a 501st Battle Pack or an AAT. But with that said, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.